what the facility looks like and what it's capable of and uh, the specific technologies, yes, I'm amazed at that. It was um, almost breathtaking to see how big the terminal actually was. What we got to today was a culmination of everything that's worked in the transportation industry to date. With the LEED certification items that we've put in place here, it's more about the building and about the environment. It's definitely unique. When you walk into a building like this and you see what a LEED certified terminal looks like and what a pleasant work environment it is, well, it's easy to get behind that. The vision of the Pittsburgh Terminal Project was, first of all, to have a great place uh, for people to come to work. The other vision for this terminal was to also have sustainability uh, in, intertwined in it. We really feel that we can uh, help pioneer sustainability in our industry uh, and really start to show others uh, what's possible and really learn ourselves what's possible. Uh, we've invested in uh, infrastructure in our buildings, creating LEED certified buildings here, right here in Pittsburgh. Uh, worked hard on reducing the carbon output with our fleet as well, and we've achieved it. Uh, where we last, over the last two years, we've reduced our carbon footprint by about 3% on a per shipment basis. Through, throughout the time um, of updating our fleet, um, a lot of gains have been made at the manufacturer's level, Equipment's much more efficient, especially on the carbon footprint side. So we've invested a lot of money in new equipment and rapidly pushed new equipment into our system to get those gains in both fuel economy and a reduction in carbon footprint. In the past two years, we have built or renovated four of our facilities. They are Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, East Windsor, and Norristown. In each of these facilities, we did sustainable features such as sustainable energy, energy efficient HVAC, waste removal and recycling, water conservation, and LED lighting. The vehicle maintenance shop in Cincinnati was the first LEED certified facility in our system. In East Windsor, we uh, constructed a solar field consisting of 1,094 250-watt solar panels that creates enough energy for the entire facility with a small surplus. So some of the key features that we've included in the facility, we have solar panels, we have geothermal heating and cooling, a lot of the materials are recycled materials. Some of the features of the shop, we have a 22,000 square feet building. Um, we, there, it consists of four drive-through maintenance bays, three body shop bays, radiant floor heating throughout, natural light panels with LED lighting. Our paint booth in the body shop is a 45 foot long, um, self-contained, uh, filters the air incoming as well as outgoing. It's a heated bay, so it heats the air to 140 degrees for a 30 minute cure time. We started looking into this facility and looking at environmental footprint impact we started looking seriously at the electrical forklift line. I think the, one of the bigger surprises here is how efficient the electric forklifts are, how reliable they are, and we definitely will get a return on investment in a very short amount of time as opposed to what we thought. The stormwater management was one of the uh, you know, unique aspects of the, our design. You know, with a site this big, so many buildings, so many paving, you have to control a lot of stormwater. And one of the things we did was we wanted to incorporate uh, bioswells, which would clean the water from the contaminants from the asphalt before it discharges back into the local watersheds. And then a couple other of the unique aspects of the site was the uh, overall landscaping. You know, we selected uh, native plant material, so we didn't have to use irrigation or extra water to maintain those plants, as well as uh, LED lights for all the exterior site lighting. So we tried to think of everything that we could to make this a, um, a great place to work. Pitt, Ohio worked with a number of people to accomplish this project. The vehicle maintenance, ECM transport, the terminal operations, the building maintenance. All of those people had a hand in uh, designing this building so that the functionality of the building was right. 
We can do more here than ever before based on the size of the building, the height of the building. We also are going in with some new, newer customers that sustainability is, is part of their culture. Uh, so we're taking on different shipments that we may not have been able to obtain before, sheerly because of our sustainability measures. I think when we considered this facility, we had to consider a couple of different things. One was that this was also going to be the corporate headquarters for our truckload company, ECM Transport. And um, we've included them in that entire design process so that they have the amenities that they need in this facility. We're an environmental friendly company. We feel that we have to be concerned about the environment for the future and our future generations. You know, that's our biggest and main concern today, and I think this building encompasses all of that. The reason why we put the boards in was basically for the customers and the customers only. Everything being real time, if a customer calls, we know exactly where the trucks are at. You know, we, we can see the trucks as they're moving from city to city at any time. We can be more efficient, gain productivity, and do the right thing by the customer. The other group that we worked with was the municipality here in Harmer Township in uh, Cheswick. And those people were really receptive to all of the ideas that we had. We're very excited. I um, mean, PV Shuffler, we have the same you know, values and goals and visions I think Pitt, Ohio does. We always want to be pushing the envelope you know, for new technology, new ways to be able to do things. So early on, we, you know, we were able to learn the vision that Pitt, Ohio had for this facility, including lease certification um, and you know, researching alternative energy uh, solutions for this uh, project. Our partnership with the University of Pittsburgh has been great. It's allowed us to use their graduate students to develop a technology that doesn't exist today. What we have done is combined solar energy which we do a lot of work on here in the school, wind energy, which we also do some work on, and battery storage technologies, again, we're doing work there, integrated through a very novel direct current integration. Not only is Pitt, Ohio a leader in their industry, they're a leader for any industry. When you look at the innovation that's involved here, the commitment of Pitt, Ohio to sustainability, to advanced technologies, and their willingness to take a little bit of a risk with us on a project like this is absolutely terrific. This has been a great foundation for us to uh, begin a long-term relationship with the Swanson School of Engineering at the University of Pittsburgh. I never get tired of looking at this terminal. It, I think aesthetically we really got it right. You recognize that uh, this, how the terminal was situated on the mountaintop uh, to capture all the natural light. Uh, the large windows, the large ceilings. When I started in this industry, I never would have thought that uh, I'd work in a terminal that looked like this. I think the employees have a, a keen awareness on the investment that the ownership has made back into this facility and makes a, broad, a large statement for our future as employees and participants in the overall success of the company. We want to be a leader and have a leadership role in the industry and this facility demonstrates a lot of thought leadership and it demonstrates a lot of pride in ownership of this company. The interesting thing about this facility is we're going to use this as a blueprint for all subsequent terminals like our new Cleveland terminal being built in Parma, Ohio. When we look at the design of these terminals we have to look at how we're going to service our customers 5, 10, 15 years in the future. And we know that there are certain things that we need to have the flexibility to do what customers want us to do for them. We're looking at how we can build that flexibility into the design of our facilities and the ways we can use renewable energy and protect our environment. The thing that we're the most excited about is we think the best is yet to come.